Hello everyone, Aviator Sim here, back with another quick video for you today. Today we will be looking at the Auto Land feature in the Flyby Wire A32NX developer version. Um, pretty cool feature we have here. Uh, mostly will be used when uh, really bad weather outside, no visibility. Uh, this Auto Land feature allows you to land hands off. So I'm just going to demo that today. Some of you may have seen this, used this, but some of you definitely, um, this may be the first time that you're seeing this. So uh, let's hop into the cockpit and let's just get ourselves configured for this ILS approach for runway 27 here at uh, Newburgh International Airport. All right, first thing we wanna do when getting set for an ILS approach is grab the localizer frequency 109.95 and we would input that into the rad nav and it is already in our rad nav we have it on both sides and also the course number 272 course number shows right here final approach course 272 so we're good there we can back out of there and we are landing flaps 3 configuration so let's go to the overhead and we're just going to click off landing flaps 3 there we go landing flaps 3 our final approach will be uh, 143 knots for this one. And again, you can see in here, config 3 for the landing. All of that is looking great. And we're still a ways away from our first uh, fix on the ILS, Molni or Moln. And I will uh, see you guys when we're ready to uh, catch capture that glide slope. All right, here we are. We can finally see ourselves on the Navigraph chart, making a right right there at Moln. And then we'll uh, be on our way to uh, Papau. And as soon as we hit Papau, we should start descending in there. But as soon as I make this right here, I am going to uh, flip this switch over to LS. And then I am going to go down to 2000 feet and engage the approach hold. Right here we are making our turn. And what I'm gonna do right now I'm just going to flip this to LS. There we are, you can see us capturing that magenta line right there. And then we should start seeing the magenta uh, diamond up here. It would help if I turn up the uh, brightness. There we go. See the magenta diamond right there? Right, we just crossed Moln. Just going to uh, start my slow descent down to 2,000 feet. I want to put some speed back also on the approach. We're supposed to be uh, 143, I believe it was. But 160 looks good now. And what I can do now is turn on the approach mode. So now the airplane is capturing that magenta line. It's going to be a perfectly straight line for us. Speed is coming down. Let me make sure that my speed brake is armed. And now it is right back on the Navigraph chart. We can see our magenta right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring our speed down even more down to 143. We're going flaps config three and I have flaps three set. We see it right there and we see the memo right here. That's from hitting the uh, button, the flaps button at the, uh, on the overhead. And right here should say land shortly as the plane uh, captures that glide slope on its own. And right above the ground, it should say retard. And I'm going to pull back on the throttle. That is the only work that we have to do when it comes to this landing. So we capture the glide slope. I'm going to put my gear down. And like I said, flaps three. So we're good with the flaps. Let's bring up our uh, Navigraph chart. As you can see, we're tracking it right here. And the runway is right here, as you can see. There we go. Now we see it say land, so we know that the plane is uh, going to land this for, for us. Hopefully it's a good landing. And right over the numbers, all I'm going to do is bring back my throttle and the plane is going to touch down gently, hopefully. So here we go, over the numbers. It says flare. Excuse me, I thought it'd say retard, but it does say flare. There we go, roll out. And now here comes my part. Nose wheel touches, and it's my controls again. So I can go ahead and put in that reverse thrust.
and at 80 knots, take away that reverse thrust, back to idle, and manual braking. Alright, let's take a look at how that autopilot did on that landing. Alright everyone, thank you for tuning in. I hope you have gotten some value from this video. This is a great feature that I'm definitely going to include on many of my flights to come on my streams in the Fly-By-Wire A32NX. If you have uh, been helped out by this video and enjoy the content on this channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you again for watching. <laughs>